Happy, happy Monday and happy birthday to me. It is Nicolasa. I am here with you on June 24th, my favorite day of the year, showing you my new um, to me Honey Beagle composition traveler's notebook. I told you guys that when I got this in, I was going to share it with you. Unfortunately, I did three videos earlier today. All three were not good. There was a sound in the background and you couldn't hear me. So <clears throat> that's kind of messed up, but I decided let me just do the finished product. The first video that I did was the reveal of this beautiful, beautiful Honey Beagle um, Apple Pig composition notebook. I did get this from the Buy Sell Trade and I have to thank Jen, I think it's Jennifer, who um, sold this lovely item to me um, because when I got my TNN that I ordered in May, it was not in composition and I really needed it to be. So I was kind of bummed out and then like two days later, she had hers for sale. So I was like, oh gosh. Um, the first thing that I did when I got this in is love it, first of all. But the second thing I did is there were several water stains on the TN. I already knew about that. And one of the things I wanted to do was remove those water stains. So I did take a Huggies Natural Care Baby Wipe to the front of this, the back of this everywhere, and I got it completely wet. And I wiped it down. The Huggies Natural Care is fragrance and alcohol free. It will not damage your leather. I've been using um, that method for Coach, for Louis Vuitton, for everything when it's just surface water stains. All of them came out, there were several, except for the one here, and that is not that major. Um, and so I decided I'm not gonna do anything about it. If I cared, I would go ahead and use some saddle soap for it, or maybe some um, ivory dish liquid, which is the clear ivory, I would actually give this traveler's notebook a, a wash. But I'm not that concerned about it, and over time, it's gonna blend with the rest of this, and I was so happy that the rest of the stains had come out. There's not one other stain on here. So all I did is I took my baby wipe, I made sure that I washed, or that I wet the entire surface of this traveler's notebook. It ended up being two wipes, only a little bit of color came off with it, um, nothing major. I did not follow with moisturizer because with the baby wipe, moisturizer is already in there just a little tiny bit and that's really all you need. Um, so you don't need to follow with any type of moisturizer. If your leather is dry, by all means moisturizer, but just understand that that's going to put a little coating on the TN and also it might make it a little darker. So just kind of know that that might happen. All right, I want to get inside. I want to show you how I decorated it. You could clearly see I also replaced my elastics. That was my second video um, that day, you know, today, earlier today. And I'm kind of bummed out that it, it disappeared, but you know what? We're moving on. We are moving on. This is for work, and so I really needed it in the composition size so that I can fit my books and my notes inside for work. I'm going to kill that dog across the street, okay? Um, here is my, um, you know, my uh, dashboard. It is a Foxy Fix dashboard, and I just decorated the mess out of it because I wanted to, because I. I just wanted to. I've been waiting on my composition for Apple Pig, and um, I've been waiting, and I really was excited, and I had already got some of the stuff done. So just my butterflies, a couple um, tokens, decoration tokens from Michaels. One says wonderful, the other one says excellence. Some cardstock paper inside of the dashboard. On the flip side, just some uh, cardstock kind of cut up in there, you know, just says yes girl and hustle, that kind of thing. And of course it's kind of dedicated to work. This next uh, book is from Michaels, it's $5 and this is just your dot or dot grid notebook. Um, nothing's in it yet because I, I just replaced this one, I get these all the time, they're like five bucks. All right, on the back of that, <clears throat> as you know me, I put my um, adhesive here to add my washi um, cards right there so um, here you go 
and then that's on the back of that and then this is the back of the dashboard so on the back of the dashboard some more tokens one says unique thoughts i thought that was cool um, i'm a limited edition this is just a um, cardstock piece and then I took my picture and put it in a cardstock piece and it says work over here which is awesome because this is my work traveler's notebook so um, I'm going with the green theme um, but then some pink kind of slipped in there it always does I don't know why pink always slips into my area right here coffee is my bay and then I've got you know my um, butterfly here because I wanted to make sure I you know stay with that kind of theme and whatever all right here is my actual insert planner that i use and i'm going to show you this week because it's new and as you can see today is my birthday i'm on vacation today but i have to fill in the rest of this for the rest of this week of what's going on over here i've got my weekly goals my few to do's and my notes down here and then here is the actual work week notice it doesn't go to saturday sunday because everything on here is related to work I decorated it with a little bit of washi from the uh, planner society and some stickers that's pretty much how I decorate it every week I'm gonna flip through in just a second this particular size is a ledger size which is 11 by 17 piece of paper I printed that on the short edge just an FYI duplex short edge color all this is is a word document um, on that size with what I want so this is a box you know outlined in pink these are in you know hearts that are inserted you know notes very simple this is a table and uh, for me very simple I guess because I kind of played with it for a little while and figured it out I did cut these down um, my folders are 8 by 10 and my actual papers this my paper planner is 7.75 by 9.75 so 7.75 this way by 9.75 that way I will tell you that when I did get <clears throat> excuse me this TNN I was I had to cut a little bit more over here it was a quite a little bit of overhang so um it might even be shorter than the 7.75 right now but I didn't touch the height so 9.75 okay because the TN is is 10 inches tall all right, let's flip through and just to kind of show you like my decorations that I have again washi with a couple of stickers pretty much every week and I do have to put some stuff in here because uh, I had a previous um, book that I was using and that one's full so now I gotta put some dates and some stuff in this one too all right that is that if I flip to the back um, I pretty much got a couple a lot of weeks in here probably take me through the summer here um, I flip to the back you see those beautiful beautiful kitties of mine these are the youngest ones right there my two young ones um, just some washi not washi cardstock with my son here and then my my uh, three-year-old down here these are my two young kids um, I do have another elastic uh, here I could use it for something else but I think for right now I'm fine I I have my week and then I have my notes so my notes when I go to meetings and stuff like that go here and then those turn into tasks and timeline for here this was a plain composition there were no no um, no pockets inside and I think um, Jen said she did that on purpose because she didn't want bulk to the TN because it's so big and I understand that I totally understand that um, this is something that will stay at work it is not something that I'll be carrying back and forth I typically don't even ever have this at home but I brought my old one home so that I could switch out to this I knew it was coming this weekend so <clears throat> Jen thank you so much for helping to make my birthday complete with this lovely um, honey beagle uh, TN and by the way I don't have honey beagle I've owned it before but I don't have it right now and I thought that was so sweet that I was able to get it guys I love apple pig I know that uh, Ting is opening on July 6th I believe it is and I think I need to be in there and be ready for when he when he opens up especially since I've got this birthday money all right, guys, enjoy your rest of your week. I appreciate you. Have a great night.